Hello everyone, my name is Jamie McQuaid from Magnet Forensics and today we've got a quick video on showing you some of the new acquisition methods we have with Magnet Axiom. So I've got Axiom Process up and running here, version 1.2.4 that we just released. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do a physical acquisition with a passcode bypass of an LG phone. So I've got in my hand right now is uh, an LG V10 from T-Mobile. Um, it's uh, the model number is H901. Um, relatively popular phone. Uh, it works with uh, quite a few different LG models. I've just got this one available to me, so that's the one I'm using today. Um, but uh, what you can do here is, uh, I got case details. We'll just leave the default here, no problem. Uh, I'm gonna go into evidence sources. We're gonna choose mobile. We're gonna go to Android. And we're gonna choose acquire evidence. Now you got options here, just like we always have, is uh, you got the unlocked ADB methods. Um, this, this phone is powered off, it's locked. Pretend we don't have the passcode for it or anything like that. So what we're gonna do is the advanced lock bypass. So we choose that. You got a few options here, LG, Samsung, or other. Um, the LG is the new stuff, so we'll click LG. And what it is is uh, a full image using the LG download mode. So what we'll do is click that. And now what you'll get is uh, a walkthrough instructions on how to do this. Now, first thing you're gonna wanna do is uh, if you don't have the LG drivers, you can download them just by clicking this button and download and install them. If you've already done that before, um, no problem. You can skip that step. I've already done it, so I don't need to download it, install them. Just be aware if you haven't done it before and or you're having some issues, download the drivers there and uh, try it again. The first thing here is understand, read. Um, what it'll do is check the device drivers and it'll check for uh, the LG device. Now, one stipulation here is when you plug in the device, this is something how it gets handled in Windows, is it needs to be on COM ports either one through nine. So um, if, it, if it automatically goes there, great, it'll work just fine. If it ends up connecting to a COM port higher than nine, you might have to change the COM port. And I'll show you how to do that. I'm not, I haven't got it connected quite yet, so we'll see where it lands. And then uh, I'll show you in the video if, it, uh, if it's on the wrong one. So uh, we'll hit start here. Unplug the USB cable from the device. Perfect, it's unplugged. I've got the cable here ready to go. Hit next, turn off the device. The device is already off, it's sitting here on my desk. Um, so I've got it in my hands, so we'll hit next. Now you want to put it into download mode. For LG devices, how you do that, hold the volume up button and plug in the phone. So we'll plug it in while holding the volume up button. And what you'll see is it'll pop up here. It'll go to download mode. I can release the volume up button and what it'll do is flip from download mode to a firmware update. And it'll just sit there. I don't know if you heard my computer, but it said it was good to go. So now it's in download mode. I'll hit next. And now it says verifying device driver. So right here, if it connects to the right COM port, it'll be successful and say complete. If I don't know, I don't know, I haven't checked the COM port yet. If it fails, we'll, we'll have to check the COM port to see if that's an issue of what port it connected to. So we'll give it here uh, a second to, uh, to, to, to read it. Said complete, perfect. If it does fail here for any reason, just go to your device manager and check the COM port. So I'm gonna go device manager and I can go to the device manager in Windows. It'll open up right here. And if I go down to COM ports here, where are we? Um, COM ports, and you can see LG device here, it's in COM2, perfect. That's what we were going for. Um, if it goes to anything higher than nine, just right click, properties, you can go to port settings, advanced, and you can choose the COM port right here. You can see, I obviously it jumped right to COM2, but if it was on any of these other ones, move it over to a COM port that's available and one through nine, and you should be good to go. I don't need to do that because it's already on two, so we're good to go. I'm gonna hit next. We've got the Android device here, uh, the LG, like I said, there's the H901, COM port two, the IMEI, and privilege access says yes, which means I have physical access to this device. I hit next. It's gonna do a full acquisition of this device and I hit go. So what this will do now, it's queued up. I could add other evidence sources if I want, no big deal. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave all the default other settings here, jump right down to uh, analyze evidence and uh, we're, we're just gonna hit acquire. It'll calculate the photo DNA hashes because I've got those enabled, that's not a big deal, but then it'll start acquiring the device. Okay, it's begin. Uh, it's begun imaging, um, and so what it'll do is it'll acquire data from the device. It'll go through copying the image, do the acquisition, and it'll actually process it automatically for us as well. So we'll we can let that run, and at the on the other side, you'll get a full physical acquisition of this LG phone without knowing the passcode, without any USB debugging or anything like that, uh, simply by connecting it and using the download methods. So um, there you go. There you have it. 
pretty straightforward uh, method. Works on quite a few Android or sorry LG devices, and it's uh, it's pretty easy to do as well. So just make sure you got the drivers and the right COM port selected, and you should be good to go. That's everything I have for this video. Thanks for watching.